Hi everyone, in this video I will talk about a new brand feature available in SharePoint or Microsoft Lists. Every end user will be able to add a new item and decide if trigger an approval workflow, targeting specific users. This is fully embedded and integrated in Microsoft Lists. You don't need to create any kind of workflow, this is already there. All right, let's get started and I'll show you every step. Here I have Microsoft Teams open. I am in the general channel of the training team and here I'm going to click on the plus button to add a new tab and I'm going to target the Microsoft Lists app because I want to add a new list here for this team. When you create a new list, you can reuse a bunch of templates. Let's click on create a list. You have, of course, the same user experience for SharePoint. Now, with all these templates powered by Microsoft, we have two additional templates. This one, travel requests with approvals and content scheduler with approvals. This word means that there is an approval workflow already integrated in the list. You don't need to create an extra power automate flow or a logic app flow for that. When you click on this one, for example, travel requests with approvals, which is the one that I want to implement for my team, we can see that there is a new column here in this template available called approval status, which will contain the current status of my approval step, not submitted, requested, rejected or approved. You can change this status. Now let's click on the button Use Template, I'm going to be original by leaving the name and color and icon for this list. Let's click on Create and now that I have this new list created, a very good approach and a very good best practice here is to add two hidden columns. To do that I'm going to click on Add a new column and here there is a link Show or Hide Columns. When you click on it you will see these two additional columns, one called Approvers, and I'm going to move this just next to the approval status, and then there is another one which is called Responses. These are very useful to keep track of Approvers and about the response of the Approver. Now that I added these two extra columns, I can click on the button Apply, and now my two new extra columns are here available next to the approval step status. It's time to add a new item in this list. All right, I added a new item, I can click on the button save and now I have my item added in my list. In the approval status, I have this status not submitted. This is a clickable link. If I click on it, this opens a, a new panel and here, give me the chance to start me my approval request. So here I have to target the name of my approver which is Adele Vance and Diego Siciliani in my case. You can add also security groups here, very interesting to know. And another thing to keep in mind is that this requires a manual step. It's not possible to add at the moment a predefined approvers values, so it means that every time you have to re-add the approvers. Here I can type something in detail. Now let's hit the button Submit and now this will trigger the approval workflow behind this list. I was curious to see if this was placed in Power Automate as a new flow or a as another flow in a logic app or in Azure, but there's no documentation that explain where this workflow ran really, in which kind of infrastructure. But I assume this is in the backstage, we have no access to the workflow, it means that we cannot change it. Now that I created a new approval workflow by clicking on the button submitted, and opening the panel, the status is changed. I have requested now. The approvers is Adele Vance. I have not yet response here because Adele Vance has not yet approved. Now, if I open the Adele Vance Microsoft Teams instance, I can see in the activity feed that there is a new, a new notification here coming from approvals. 
every new workflow request will trigger the approvals app in Microsoft Teams. Important to know is that the, the request comes directly from SharePoint. This is the use case when you use such list templates with approvals steps integrated. Now I can see here as a recap that I have the status requested and pending response, Diego and Adele. Now as Adele, I can say, for example, OK, and I'm going to approve this request. What I'm going to do right now is going back to my view as a requester. I can see that now the request is changed, is Diego Siciliani, it's pending on Diego. The status is still requested. But what happens if I change something in this list item? Because maybe I made some mistake. It's not New York, but here it's Paris. You can change any kind of value on any field, it doesn't matter. But if you make some change, there is this warning message that tells you that applying this change will reset your workflow process. Let me click on Apply Changes. And now that I click on it, I can go back and the status is reset. So I have to click again on it. Then I have to target my approvers again because I'm starting from scratch. And now I can click on the button Submit. This will trigger again my workflow. Now let me speed up and change again the view here. I have a new request and I can see that the previous one is cancelled. So let me open the approvals app and I, what I received here is this request. This is not yet updated. I can refresh the approvals app just to show you that the status is changed also in the history here. Here we go, it's cancelled because a new approval request has been submitted by applying the change in the, in the title. So let me click now on this one and I'm going to type again OK and approve. Now the last approver is Diego Siciliani. I can open Microsoft Teams. I have the new request coming. This is the one with uh, New York in the title and it's cancelled. In uh, just a matter of seconds I should see the new one coming. Here we go, Modern Workplace Conference Paris, coming, uh, the request comes from SharePoint and the requester is Giuliano. Now, as a last approver, I need to provide my response and it's okay to me, I can click now on approve. Now, this request is approved and if I open the, the list, the previous list view as a with the Giuliano perspective, it's the status is not yet uh, updated. So let me refresh this page just to show you that the status is now approved. So let's open again. I have new notification coming from the approvals app and I can see that now the approval status is approved. The approvers, the last one is Diego, Diego Siciliani. This is the user experience by using this list. Of course, you have the same thing using SharePoint. So in SharePoint, I can click on the new in the command bar button. And then here I can reuse this template, for example, content scheduler with approvals. It's important to know and to keep in mind that you can always use this capability with the workflow that comes automatically and follow the list. And then you can change the columns of your list. Maybe you need something else. You don't really need content scheduler or travel request, but maybe you have marketing posts or marketing campaign or whatever HR process. It doesn't matter. You can start from this template and reuse it. You have a very basic workflow steps that you can use for this list. And it's nice to have already on it. All right, we have seen a new brand feature available in SharePoint or Microsoft Lists. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe, like, and add a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about this feature. 
or if you have questions. I hope to see you next time.